Hi everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. It's time for a sketch tonight and I'm actually recording this uh, video a little bit early because I'm away this week. And I, But I wanted to make sure that I did my sketch and my other lives through the week. So uh, my lives uh, tonight, like this one, tomorrow and the next day as well as Saturday and Sunday will be pre-recorded. Please uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of it. I will be checking out the comments afterwards. So hope you enjoy them. Um, this is a pretty easy sketch. There's all sorts of things you could do with it. I'm actually just doing some, creating my own designer series paper by doing some stamping on the back. Kind of the highlight of this uh, card for me is the um, die that I'm using across the middle. Uh, I'm using the Darling Details uh, bundle. And one of the dies allows you to weave ribbon through it. I've used it before, I've showed you this, but uh, I really like how it turned out on this card. So let me switch over and we will get started. I'll show you the sketch, which um, I'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> let me switch over, I'll show you the sketch and then I'll, I'll tell you where you can find the sketch afterwards. All right, so this is the sketch. Look at how easy this is. You've got um, a, a cardstock a base that is five and a half by eight and a half or four and a quarter by 11. Layer number one is blue, it's four inches by five and a quarter. And then you've got a layer, this yellow layer that is three and three quarter by five, a piece across the middle that is one and three quarters by three and three quarters, and then a sentiment layer, whatever size you need. So easy, but you could do lots of things with this. You could do it the way I'm doing it with some design, uh, creating your own designer series paper by stamping. You could use designer series paper um, yeah, sometimes it's nice just to have a fairly easy sketch. Now, this sketch will go live on social media in about a half hour's time. So check Instagram and Facebook and you'll find this sketch if you miss any of the instructions or measurements as I've, as I've gone through them. All right, let me bring in, this is the bundle that I'm using. Uh, so it's the Darling Details. I love this bundle. It's so pretty. You can create frames using these. This is the die that I was talking about that we're going to use. It's an edging die. Um, and through these little slots, you can um, weave ribbon. So I'm going to do that. And then you have some extra dies um, as well that cut out the other, the other stamped images as well as some um, other pieces. We're only using this die. I'm going to make it fairly easy today. Okay. So, what am I using? Okay, I'm using Pull Party. Pull Party for my base. So I've got a piece of Pull Party, I believe, is cut. Yep, five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to go ahead and score it at four and a quarter. Have you ever lost one of these scoring blades? I have. And up until now, um, you couldn't buy these. Stampin' Up! didn't carry them. If you check out the online exclusives in my online store, they now have two packs of these uh, scoring blades, which is just amazing. I had to get some because, yeah, I've, I've lost some. Okay, so this is the raised side or mountain. So we fold into the mountain and give it a good burnish with our bone folder. There's our card base. Okay, now I've got a piece of lemon lolly. Isn't this pretty combination? Pool party and lemon lolly. So this piece is four inches by five and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of basic white that is three and three quarters by five. This is the piece we're going to do some stamping on. So I'm going to just create my own, my own designer series paper. Oops, I need a couple more stamps our box and stamps, I guess. This is two-step stamping. Love two-step stamping. I guess I just need that one. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some stamping. I'm going to stamp the full party first. I think it's easier. I'm just going to randomly stamp pull party. As a background. Easy, right? Okay, now I'm going to need that again. All right, then I'm going to take, um, I'm going to clean this. Uh, I'm using lemon lolly. I've done this before. I find that the lemon lolly is so transparent that 
uh, I always want to make sure that I've cleaned my, and dried basically my stamp before I use it. All right, I want to see. I may want to stamp off. Uh, no, I think I'm going to keep it really bright. So we're now going to use the lemon lolly as the inside. So like that. And if you don't quite get it, it's okay. If you don't quite get it lined up, I guess I should use all the words I was thinking in my head. Okay, there we go. So this is a very bright card. You could tone it down if you wanted to by stamping off with the lemon lolly because it is quite a bright, despite it being a subtle, it is quite a bright color. And one more. Mm. There we go. Kind of have to wiggle it around until you have it lined up. Okay, let's uh, see if we can add some other bits in here. I think I'm done with that one for now. Let's close that. All right, let's add some, some pool party uh, flowers in. You could add other colors if you wanted to. I'm just kind of keeping it somewhat simple with the the two colors. I like to create my own designer series paper on occasion. This is a distinctive stamp, so it's really cool. These ones I don't know that you can see, but it is, uh, as you stamp it, it's not perfect. Okay, there is my really bright and cheery designer series paper. So this piece is going to adhere on to this piece. We've done that. We'll just lay this on for now. That's going to go on like that. Bright and cheery and summery. Okay, now I cut, this is the piece of pool party that I said to lay across. It's a little longer, so we'll have to trim it, but that's okay. Now I'm going to take, this is that um, edging die. So I'm going to put it uh, on the, right up against the edge of my one side of this piece of pool party and I'm going to use some post-it note tape to hold it in place and then we're going to run it through our stamp and cut and emboss machine. So when I talked about ribbon wine, uh, weaving through this, I'm going to use the gold, the gold ribbon that's one eighth inch. It comes in the the package of gold and silver. Um, some of it, the one eighth inch really is the the best size. Um, so you can see this cuts really pretty. It cuts the little dots and then the little holes. Now, when you turn, when you're going to do the other side, because I'm going to do two sides, make sure that you have it facing the right way. One time I did it like this and of course it cuts. That's the side that cuts. So you want to be, um, it's the scallop side that is the cutting edge of it. So again, we're just putting it up against that edge, holding it down and then running it through. And we're now gonna have two sides to this um, strip that goes across the middle that we can weave some really pretty gold ribbon into. Okay, so this can come off gently. If you run it through a couple of times, I haven't done that. If you run it through a couple of times, you will find that these bits um, will come out. In fact, most of them when you do that, just kind of fall out onto your, your cutting plate. Um, they, they come out pretty easy, but it just takes a minute or two to, to poke them out if you uh, did what I did and only ran it through once. So unfortunately, you're going to have to watch me do this. Because I really want the little bits to be popped out. There's one side brush them off. So this one side actually more of them came out. Also if you uh, clean your die, which you may have noticed mine is 
kind of these little holes get um, get full of cardstock. If you clean them out, these come out uh, easier. And you don't have to do as much of this as I am. Okay, there we go. Didn't take too long to poke. All right, so now we have this pretty little strip that goes, goes across. So it's going to go across the middle. So we're going to trim it um, to three and three quarters. I'm going to put my, actually, I'm not going to, I'm going to trim it now. Okay, let's trim it. Bring my trimmer in. Now, I'm trying to line up. I don't want these um, slots to be kind of cut open because I want to use them. So I'm just kind of watching. Okay, so I'm going to cut just a little bit, maybe an eighth of an inch off this end. And then we'll trim the rest off the other end. So this needs to be three and three quarters of an inch. Oops, that's going to, okay, so let's do that. There we go. So hopefully that's the right length. There we go, three and three quarters. So now I've got my piece that is hopefully the right length. Oh, I guess it should have been four inches, but that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with it um, uh, being the width of the, the white. Okay, so now grab your, I can't remember what I said. I said, oh, I said three and three quarter by five. It actually should be three and three quarters by four. Um, but if you do it by five, you can trim off what you you don't need. So now you just need to take, and again, the one eighth inch, one eighth inch or one quarter inch ribbon is the one that works best um, through this. If it's too wide, you're not going to get it through um, easily. You're going to kind of have to bend and twist, and it's going to frustrate you. I'm sure it would frustrate me. So just kind of weaving it in and out of these little slots and hopefully not getting it twisted. There we go. Oops, and I did after all of that. Untwist it. There we go. Okay, and then the last one. Now I'm going to pull this gently because I don't need that much. And I'm just going to cut this off. I'll, I'll um, adhere that in just a minute. So let's go this way. I wanted to show you how to cut that, um, to cut the edging on the strip, which is why I didn't do this in advance and you're having to watch me to try and get it woven through. Of course, as you try to go quick, it doesn't work. All right, okay, that's not too bad. Pull it just so we've got about a half inch or so because we're gonna tuck that um, behind. Let's move that out of the way. All right, grab my silicone mat. I like to use stamp and seal. I'm just gonna take stamp and seal. You could use a glue dot too and just put some stamp and seal down a little bit, the length of a little bit of the ribbon. And we're just going to fold this back on itself. Like that. And that holds my ribbon in place. Isn't that pretty? So if you did this in like Knight of Navy or basic black or something where the gold really showed up, it would just look stunning. Okay, I'm going to use stamp and seal. Press those down so they don't come undone. I'm going to use stamp and seal across my middle. Like that. And then this will just go across the middle of my card. Like that. 
and then we can take and adhere this on to our card base. Okay, and now I need just a piece, a scrap of basic white for the sentiment, which is here that says, oopsie, upside down, just a note. And while I have my ink open, let's take and stamp that same flower on the inside oopsie, of my card. One side was a little dirty. Hide the hide the marked side. And then this one. I'm going to stamp this off because it was really bright on the front of my card. Just to show you what it can look like if you. So it looks quite quite a bit more subtle if you uh, stamp off with the lemon lolly. Like I said, lemon lolly is for a subtle. It's uh, quite a bright color. And then this can go on the inside. And then let's grab some scissors. I didn't bring any embellishments over, but you can embellish this. You could even put little uh, little rhinestones in each of the little flowers. That would look really pretty. Maybe that's what I'll do. Got some embellish or some em dimensionals here. Oh, these will fit. These are the big ones. Oh, they will. That. Let me see if I can quickly find my. Here we go. I always end up with a ton of little the little rhinestones. So let's just take. I like to use the putty end of my take your pick tool to pick up these rhinestones. I usually only put mm, three to five, but I don't know. I got so many of these little little uh, rhinestone jewels so let's kind of put one on each of the each of these uh, little tiny flowers and just kind of give some sparkle to to the card so all of them pretty much or maybe there's one that you can kind of just see there there all right isn't that pretty really a pretty little card uh, and it really wasn't all that hard to do. Uh, great, great uh, sketch um, to use. Again, you could use designer series paper that you have. Uh, you could make your own. Uh, you could use embossed um, cardstock on the front. Lots of things you could do with this uh, with this sketch. Don't forget to check out the sketch. It will go live on Facebook and Instagram uh, at uh, two thirty uh, Pacific, so you can grab it and get the get the measurements. All right, everybody, thanks so much for joining me today. I will be checking all of the comments after this goes live um, once I have a chance. And uh, stay tuned tomorrow. I will be back again uh, with a pre-recorded video at 2 o'clock Pacific. Uh, it's a technique tomorrow. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Happy stamping. Bye.